I got a request from uh, Florent about step by step installation on Linux VPS with no third party like Docker or anything. It's like a full lab installation, just like old days. So let's see if we can able to install directors on VPS without these tools. So I use DigitalOcean uh, for my VPS needs. So let's create a droplet. The droplet is nothing but a VPS, just like EC2 on AWS. Let me select. Okay, I will select the clean Ubuntu installation, and I will select the server with at least of two GB RAM. I tried with 6 1 GB RAM but it's taking too much time so now let's try with 2 GB RAM so it's a 12 dollar VPS so I have created It will take around a minute to get out of the ready. Yes, our droplet is ready. So this is its IP. So let's fire up the terminal. Yes, so I logged in with the root user. So always add another sudo user while doing anything on the plane server. So I will add one user. Simple password. Yes. Now I will add this user to sudo group. user is in sudo now so let's log in with that user it was create com folder yes so first thing first we need a node.js installed on this machine so no node.js installed so let's install the node.js to package managers select Linux and this is a command copy it paste yes nvm is installed next command is nvm install twenty okay Yes, not just 20 is installed. Let's check. Yes. Now next step is to install the directors. So either we can follow the directors official documentation or I have a quick ready quick start for you which you can directly install and start. 
and into directors. So search for directors, click start everything. So this repository contains everything you need to get started with directors. Copy this. Open the terminal. I will clone this. Yes. So, CD so sometimes you might not have git pre installed. So you might have to git installed. Okay. So let's fire up our uh, let's see. Let's fire up our script. Click start. This will take some time as it will install the Node.js packages as well as do all this scaffolding work for you. Yes, our director is running on port 8055. Let's try it out. This is my IP at 8055. Congratulations. Next thing is I want to run this on port 80 and uh, as you know it's running as a node script so when I close this terminal it will stop the application. So for that we will install the node process manager PM2. So let's install it. Also, I want to run. I will run this as a process. So I will run as pm2 index dot cgs. Okay, sorry. So command is pm2 start index dot cgs. So that's how we can run. On the UPS. If I want to run this on uh, the domain, so let me add that to Node. I will turn the proxy off for now. It's directors yes. and uh, IP is this one. So it will allow SSL connections, but as of now, our port we have to work on the port. Yes, 
Now it's running on our custom domain. Thank you for joining this session. Let me know if you have any comments, so I will try to answer this.